Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over creating um, joints for the leg, um, the knee, the ankle, and in particular what I'll be looking at is orienting uh, the joints and setting the preferred angle of the joints so as we can avoid flipping um, that you often uh, might come across with um, uh, we'll say knees and elbows etc you'll suddenly move a control and you'll notice that it starts flipping so let's have a look at that um, what I want to start off with is this character and I don't have any joints for the leg so I'm going to create those and let's jump straight in what I do I like to have this one here turned on so I can view the joints inside the uh, mesh that one there okay so let's create a set of joints I'm going to go skeleton create joints options and when I create joints I like to have projected centering turned on okay and let's give it a go so I'll create one here about here I'll create one for the knee there and one for the ankle and let's drop in the ball of the foot right down the bottom and one more for say the toe I'll hit enter okay fantastic that's a good start now next up we want to orient the joints so I'm going to close this and I will actually hide the mesh for a little bit and to orient the joints one I need to see the rotation axis so I like to go select hierarchy make sure you have the the root or the hip selected the hierarchy they turn all white that signifies you've selected all the joints I'll go display transform display local rotation axis now I see them all fantastic and ideally what you want is the um, x-axis should be pointing down the joint okay and let's have a look so if I go skeleton orient joint options and in here I like to have X Y and Z like that okay and then I can click um, apply that will orient them all correctly the bare minimum you want at least the primary axis to be X so they're pointing down so I'll close that so next up let's talk about the um, creating the IK handle so I'm going to select that hierarchy again and just hide the um, select hierarchy and display I'll just turn off those rotation axis so let's create an IK handle and let's see what direction it's moving so create IK handle from the hip to the ankle now if you look at this top of the IK handle there's a little white arrow that signifies what direction when I move the IK handle it's going to preferred angle so it's going to want to move over this way which is not what we wanted let's just turn it on to see so let's move it and it's flipping see that it's flipping right out the side here okay we want it to be moving perpendicular like forward the knee just to be coming forward so that's telling us that when I turn that off and by the way if you have your skin on okay you can put the um, the T in here transparency I guess it is so as you cannot select it see that I can't select the mesh um, I'll grab that IK handle so what we want to do is rotate this in the correct direction so to do that first I'm going to delete that IK handle and what we want to do is set the preferred angle of this joint chain to do that we need to zero out the rotates of these two joints so I'll click the first one and up here in the channel box I'll go channels freeze rotates they're now zeroed I'll do the same for that one I think they're already zeroed anyway which is okay so now I'll set the preferred angle and my preferred angle for this one was I'll rotate we want it to go forward and this one that way yeah then I'll go back I'll select the top the hip joint and now I'll go skeleton 
set preferred angle okay now you might be thinking well not much happened but in fact if I now zero this out over here zero and zero this one zero now when I create that IK handle you'll notice the um, the angle that little white arrow will be pointing forwards see so when I now move it that's correct that's much better okay and once I create a um, say a knee control using a pole vector constraint which I'll do now um, it'll even help even more so I'll go create NURBS just you could use a square or a circle I'll bring this up into position so that we can see that um, you could use a locator or any object that's not going to render bring it out I'll even rotate it a bit now with all controls I like to freeze the transforms modify freeze there we go and I'll call that left knee control okay I will delete the history and now when I select this one and I sel um, shift select my or control select my IK handle I go constrain pole vector and you'll see this green arrow up here that signifies you've created a pole vector constraint and you now have a knee control okay so I should be able to grab that IK handle move it up and down and it's great I can move these about and it all operates great thanks for watching